How do you grow your Instagram following? So many questions on a week-to-week basis. I'm stuck. The algorithm's not helping me out. My following is not growing. What am I doing wrong? Well, in this video, I want to give you some real practical things that you can get stuck into. But before I get into that, I want to talk to you about your Instagram platform. To grow your following, think about that for a second. Following, people choosing to follow you. Is your platform, is your page, is your grid, is your offer, is your product something that somebody would want to follow? Because what I'm going to share with you in a minute is a way to get more attention, for people to see you, for people to actually go, oh, shall I actually choose to follow that person? And what I'm going to share with you is how we're going to do that. But I just want you to do a little audit of your page. Would I want to follow you? If I was somebody wanting to lose body fat, if I was somebody wanting to improve my physique, if I was somebody that wanted to learn more about health, would I follow you? Do I see engaging content, engaging headlines? Are you clearly in videos? Are you a person that would inspire me to follow you and want to learn from you? Because I could sit here and talk to you about how to grow your Instagram following, and I'll give you all these tactics and strategies, but unless somebody feels, oh, do you know what? I'll give that person a follow a lot of these can fall flat for you. So let's get stuck into these. The first thing, and I'll tell you what I'll do. As I'm going through these, these points, I want you to write down in the comments, just put the number, which one are you going to commit to doing? What's great about this is you can commit to me and I'll see it and I'll comment back because it's really, really important for you that you identify with one and commit to that one. Because when you commit to one, you'll be able to track and see whether it's working. So the first one, is collaborate with friends and colleagues. And this is something that so few fitness professionals do. There is a collaborate function on your Instagram Instagram page that basically go when you go to tag, you can go to collaborate. Train with friends. Train with colleagues. If you're in the fitness industry, train with colleagues. Get a videographer to train you. Go and train with a friend of yours. Get people to film you. Collaborate with each other. And especially try to collaborate with people with slightly more following than you. So if you've got 200 followers, collaborate with somebody that's got 500 to 1,000 plus. If you've got 5,000, collaborate with somebody that's got 40 to 50,000 plus. Throughout my whole of my career, I have not only, I mean, the Instagram platform allows you to collaborate now, but the way I used to do this was simply we would do stories and, and, and take photos with friends and you'd tag somebody in it and the next thing you know, they'd share it on their story, they'd share it on their page or they would just share the picture and they say, oh, can you send me the photo? I'll put it on my page and they'll tag you. And then you'd notice you get 20, 30 follows or you might get 10. You know, when I do collaborations with podcasts, for example, I not only benefit myself, but the person that I'm interviewing benefits from my audience as well. So something as simple as actually writing down a list of what are the friends that you could do things with, that you could collaborate with, and colleagues that you know that you could do collaborations with that would get you onto their page so their audience would see you. The second thing is, and this should be key for all of you because you're fitness professionals, you have results. The amount of times I say to coaches, come on, do this, and they don't. You have results. When you're going to share them on your page, collaborate with your clients. Ask your clients to share them on their stories. Why? You've got to do anything you possibly can to get your content on other accounts. Get it shared, whether it's Instagram and well, Instagram or Facebook, any other platform. Get your results, collaborate, get your friends to share them, put them in their stories, tag you, ask them specifically. Because again, it gets in front of somebody else's platform, that then gets views, it gets likes, you're able to have conversations, and then your following will grow as a result of that. Be consistent with the number one and number two, you're going to get more follows. Now, here's the deal. When you actually are trying to grow your Instagram following, you're like, oh yeah, but I'm trying to get 500 more, 600 more, 700 more. Provide high value, you won't lose anybody. Keep doing the first two, and you might get five new followers a day. That's 25 across a working week, okay? 35 across a full week. If you keep multiplying that week after week and then retain, then your following is going to keep growing and then that gives you opportunity to have more conversations. Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings 
and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. Number three, and this is key. This is where I'm going to call, call this kind of like the dirty work. Liking and commenting on your target audience content. Now, I'm going to add in here hashtags. Hashtags are an incredible way for you to search for the key hashtags that your ideal target audience will be using on their posts. So if one of your target audience is a female and they are on their weight loss journey, <clears throat> would they tag gym workout or healthy food as a hashtag? Quite, quite possibly. Paleo recipe, they might tag. Or vegan recipe, they might tag. Or fat loss recipe, they might tag. Just think, all you got to think about is what might my ideal audience put as a hashtag? And then go to the top of the Instagram page, type in the hashtag gym workout and go down. Now, what you don't want to be here is just spam, 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 spam. Instagram will see you doing spam, spam, spam. Take a bit of time and go, right, every day I'm going to do this to 30 people. And I'm going to look at a post and go, that, that looks like my ideal target audience. I'm going to have a look at what they've written. And then I might make a comment, keep up the good work, or just comment on something that they've done. That looks amazing, right? And then like the post. And then go through and start finding different people on the hashtags and then liking their content. Now, if you do this and start to realize that you get five follows for every 30 that you do, so that, that means you'll get 10 follows for every 60 that you do, right? If you did that across a week, that's 70 follows. If you did that across two weeks, you get 140 follows. And you're like, wow, but it's grindy, it's work. Well, eventually, let me just tell you something. I have people that help me do this, right? So you can actually start to have people that will go and like and comment on people's stuff. What are we trying to do here? Go to an event, look around the room, I'd like to talk to that person over there. Hi, my name is Mark, nice to meet you. Are you with a particular company right now? What is it that you do? And then you end up having a conversation. You end up exchanging phone numbers and maybe at a networking event, you might go away with 10 phone numbers, 10 Instagram handles. That's your network building. That's something I'm constantly doing. But liking and commenting and spending time Actually engaging with other people's content that aren't your current followers is a phenomenal way to build your audience. And if you start building your audience by 20 new followers a day, 140 a week, well, by the end of five weeks, that's well over 500 new followers. But how often are you sitting there with the content, looking, staring, and getting nothing? You're not doing the work to deserve the audience. Number four, this is pretty simple. It's ask your friends and anybody of influence to shout you out. If they do not have a business selling fitness, but they have a lot of friends, you could just give them a shout. You could say, can I train you? But then in return for training me, uh, me training you, you just give me a shout out a couple of times. That may be that they've got 2,000 followers. Great. Well, if that's you, you've got 100 followers, 200 followers, they've got 1,000. What if you've got 5,000 followers and you could actually reach out to somebody and say, look, I could train you. And all I need is for you to give me some more of your audience and then just tag me in some posts, say that things are working really well for you. Amazing. Now, what starts to happen with this attention is with people following you, then you can then start conversations with them. And when you start conversations with them, you can go down and you can watch one of my other videos on outreach and how you have conversations. So imagine this. You have, let's say, 140 people following your page each week, okay? Okay. That is 140 new messages. Now, if you know out of 140 messages, you get 20 people replying based on the replies that you send. And from the replies, you're able to propose 10 book calls because you have conversations. And out of the 10 proposed book calls, you always have five. And out of five, you always get two clients. If you know those statistics, then getting 140 new followers on your page each week will get you two new clients a week. Whoa, didn't even think of it like that. So one, two, three, four, if you've done these, then you're going to be able to have 140 plus new followers every single week, which leads to more conversations, which leads to sending more lead magnets out and getting more email addresses, which means nurturing more people, which means building your, your following. What is happening to you and your following right now? You are no, you're not doing anything. And the last point falls so nice in line with this. Show up every single day. It's the simplest thing that I can tell you but I've been doing this for over 15 years and I miss the occasional day by choice. I show up every single day regardless. Myself and my team engage with people every single day regardless. 
and we grow our following, we grow our audience, we do collaborations, we work with people of influence, and I continue to grow and we continue to nurture and build new relationships with people. If you're not having new eyeballs on your page, then people become stagnant and then your business becomes stagnant too. Grow, grow, right? That's the thing. And you got to work hard for it. I go back to, you know, this point I've just said is you have to show up every single day. Therefore, you have to go and like and comment on people's posts. You have to do the collaborations. You have to reach out to people. You have to have the uncomfortable conversations with people. If you want to grow a business, get used to it, right? The reality is one of my other videos I talk about the reality is of building an online coaching business. It is tough. But you know what? You want the followers, you want the eyeballs, you got to do the graph. So point number one, collaborate with friends and your colleagues. Two, collaborate your results and make sure that they appear on your audience's page. Number three, like and comment on your audience's uh, ideal target audience's content. Number four, ask your friends or people of influence to shout you out, okay, consistently, regularly. And number five, number five is to show up every day. Put effort into your content. And there was that little bonus one that I said right at the beginning. Turn yourself and your page into somebody that I would want to follow. Comment below, which one are you going to focus on most? Hope you found this episode of value helpful. Please click like and subscribe and do me a favor, share the podcast, share the YouTube channel. Let's help more fitness professionals improve and build successful businesses, and create fulfilling lives. For now, take care and I'll speak to you soon.